Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Pelvic Support Problems in Women Introduction Pelvic support problems affect the organs in a woman's pelvis. A woman's organs can shift position as she ages. Pregnancy, childbirth, or being overweight can stretch and weaken the muscles that support the pelvic organs. Pelvic support problems can affect both men and women, but these problems are much more common in women. This program focuses on pelvic support problems in women. This program will help you better understand pelvic support problems. It talks about the symptoms, causes, and types of pelvic support problems. It also covers the diagnosis and treatment of these problems. The pelvis. This section talks about the organs found in a woman's pelvis. It is important to understand the position of these organs when talking about pelvic support problems. The reproductive system is between the urinary system and the intestinal system. The urinary system is in front of the reproductive system. The intestinal system is located behind the reproductive system. The female's reproductive system consists of two ovaries, two fallopian tubes, the uterus, and the vagina. The fallopian tubes connect the ovaries to the uterus. The vagina connects the uterus to the outside of the body. The urinary system consists of two kidneys, the ureters, the bladder, and the urethra. The ureters connect the kidneys to the bladder. The urethra allows urine to exit the body, emptying the bladder. The intestinal system ends in the sigmoid colon, rectum, and anus. The front, or anterior, part of the vagina is close to the bladder. The back, or posterior, part of the vagina is close to the sigmoid colon and rectum. The organs in the pelvis are held in place by muscles. These muscles are called the pelvic floor muscles. Layers of tissue also keep the pelvic organs in place. This tissue is called fascia. The pelvic floor muscles and fascia may become stretched or torn. They may also become weak as a woman gets older. If this happens, the muscles and fascia cannot support the pelvic organs. The pelvic organs may shift position or drop downward. Symptoms Many women may have mild pelvic support problems that may not cause symptoms. More severe pelvic support problems can cause difficulty having sex, lower back pain, Problems inserting tampons. Problems with bladder or bowel control. Seeing or feeling something bulging into or coming out of the vagina. Pelvic support problems may also cause feelings of fullness or pain in the lower abdomen. Pelvic pressure, which may get worse when standing, lifting, or coughing. Pulling or aching in the vagina. If you notice any of these symptoms or other changes, talk to your healthcare provider. These symptoms may or may not be caused by pelvic support problems. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Causes Pelvic support problems can happen when muscles and fascia in the pelvis weaken or tear. This allows organs in the pelvis to shift. The most common cause of pelvic support problems is pregnancy or childbirth. The extra weight during pregnancy or straining during childbirth can cause pelvic support problems. Having pelvic surgery can also lead to pelvic support problems. Certain types of pelvic support problems are more common in women who have had a hysterectomy. Muscles and fascia in the pelvis may weaken or tear due to aging, 
chronic cough or constipation, extra weight on the body. These can also lead to pelvic support problems. There are also some factors that can raise the risk for pelvic support problems or make these problems worse. These factors include genetics, radiation treatment, smoking. Types There are several different types of pelvic support problems. This section briefly explains each type. Types of pelvic support problems include uterine prolapse, vaginal vault prolapse, cystocele, urethrocele, enterocele, rectocele. Some of these problems can happen at the same time. Uterine prolapse happens when the uterus drops downward into the pelvis. This causes the uterus to drop into the vagina. The vagina may also be pulled down by the uterus and turn inside out. Vaginal vault prolapse happens when the vaginal vault drops downward into the pelvis. The vaginal vault is the top part of the vagina. This type of pelvic support problem is mostly seen in women who have had a hysterectomy. Cystocele happens when the bladder starts to fall back. It then pushes against the front wall of the vagina. In severe cases, the bladder bulges out through the opening of the vagina. Urethrocele is when the urethra bulges into the vagina. Usually, this type of pelvic support problems happens with a cystocele. Enterocele happens when the small intestine bulges through the back wall of the vagina. This type of pelvic support problem often happens with vaginal vault prolapse. Rectocele happens when the rectum starts to fall to the front. It then pushes against the back wall of the vagina. In severe cases, the rectum bulges out through the opening of the vagina. Diagnosis First, your healthcare provider will ask you about your medical history and symptoms. A physical exam will also be performed. A healthcare provider may diagnose a severe pelvic support problem from a physical exam of the vagina. This is because the part of the fallen organ may be visible. A pelvic exam may also find pelvic support problems that are less severe. A pelvic exam checks the organs in the pelvis for signs of disease. The healthcare provider may be able to feel an organ bulging into the vagina. A rectal exam can also help the healthcare provider find problems with organs in the pelvis, including the rectum. During these exams, your healthcare provider may ask you to cough or strain. Sometimes pelvic support problems can cause urine or bowel leakage during these motions. If the problem includes the urinary system, you may have a voiding cystourethrogram. This test involves taking x-rays of the bladder during urination. The x-ray shows the shape of the bladder. It also lets the doctor see any problems that might block the normal flow of urine. Other tests may be needed to find or rule out problems in other parts of the pelvis. Your health care provider can provide you with more information if the tests are needed. Treatment Mild pelvic support problems may not require treatment but treatment can keep pelvic support problems from getting worse. Unless the pelvic support problem is severe, non-surgical treatments may be tried first. These may include lifestyle changes, bladder training, weight loss, Kegel exercises, pessaries, estrogen therapy. Lifestyle changes may help some women. Limiting fluid intake and avoiding caffeine can help prevent urine leakage. If a woman has bowel problems, a high-fiber diet can prevent constipation and straining during a bowel movement. Bladder training is a therapy that can help women learn to control the bladder. It involves emptying the bladder at set times. This can train the bladder and relieve urine leakage. Weight loss can also help pelvic support problems. Getting rid of extra weight can keep a problem from getting worse. It can also help relieve urine leakage. Kegel exercises are special pelvic floor exercises. 
These exercises may help strengthen the pelvic floor muscles and relieve some symptoms. To do Kegel exercises, pretend you are stopping the flow of urine or trying to stop passing gas. Squeeze and hold these muscles for five seconds and then relax them. Do this four to five times in a row throughout the day. Biofeedback uses sensors placed on the skin, in the vagina, or in the rectum to determine which muscles are being used while doing pelvic floor exercises. This helps women learn how to do the exercises correctly. You may also be able to use a pessary to treat a pelvic support problem. A pessary is a device placed in the vagina to support the pelvic organs. Pessaries come in a variety of shapes and sizes to give the most comfortable fit for a patient. They must be removed regularly to avoid infections or ulcers. After menopause, a woman's body doesn't produce as much estrogen. Estrogen helps the pelvic muscles stay strong. Your healthcare provider may recommend using a vaginal cream, ring, or pill containing estrogen to strengthen your pelvic muscles. Surgery may be needed if non-surgical treatments do not relieve symptoms or if the pelvic support problem is severe. The goals of surgery are to Restore the dropped organ back to its original position. Create support for the pelvic organs. Surgery for pelvic support problems may not relieve all symptoms. A woman may also experience pelvic support problems after surgery. Talk to your healthcare provider about your treatment options and which may be best for you. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Pelvic support problems affect the organs in a woman's pelvis. A woman's organs can shift positions as she ages. Pregnancy, Childbirth or being overweight can stretch and weaken the muscles that support the pelvic organs. There are several different types of pelvic support problems. Types of pelvic support problems include uterine prolapse, vaginal vault prolapse, cystocele, urethrocele, enterocele, rectocele. Pelvic support problems are often diagnosed based on symptoms and a physical exam. Other tests may be done to find or rule out other problems in the pelvis. Treatment may include non-surgical options. These include pelvic floor exercises, a pessary, estrogen therapy, or surgery. Thank you for using Explain.